Morning all, another video today, another ERCR test. This one's being done at um, a steel fabricating company. We've done the last test on this as well, um, God knows how many years ago now. Um, might have heard about it in the news actually. The old owners, they, they died in the helicopter crash, um, Snowdonia. But they were the ones that owned this and, and we used to, I was their electrician so it's quite nice that they've, they've, you know, the, the new owners or whoever stepped up and took it over have given us a shout to come back and redo it. But I'll be honest with you, I, um, I can't see it doing too well. From memory, it was a fair few years back now, but from memory, um, it was pretty bad last time. We had to do a load of remedials um, and there was a lot of C3s. So it'd be interesting to see um, whether they're still there or they've had any, any other work done or electricians in um, previous to this test but we shall find out <laughs> Merson's filming me for some reason I know, so I'm going to film him filming me <laughs> so me and Hayden are going to be doing the testing Hayden there like daddy cool like he don't even care you know what I'm saying he gets camera shy I think Merson don't he's that way you got a fresh trim going on hey listen Check that trim though. Chris at Illuminate. Go and see him. Where'd you get your trim? Woe business. Nah. I don't sound good. So today me and Hayden are testing. Merson's gonna be running the show, making sure that me and Hayden are doing everything we should be, because obviously master tester. Or master beta, I'm not sure. We'll see you inside. I don't want to get out of the van. Weather for the fucking ducks today. Hayden's testing, uh, Merson's testing all the outside lights. Anything outside you're testing, Merce? Yeah, he's short, so he didn't get a bottle of trousers though, as well. <laughs> <laughs> Man's dressing for flood. So this is one of the cupboards. Apologise for the noise. The still place. But this is the first cabinet. Good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just been given out EICR report from five years ago. It's all on there, it's always good to have the previous test results just to refer back to. But we've basically got, I mean, this is a solar PV board. So we've got one, two, third one up there. One over where Hayden is, and then we've got one in that other room as well. Let's get cracking. Got the board covers off on these two. Probably just recommend now that these crimps have changed. Something a little bit better. We'll see what the test readings are saying. And that's your PV. Just as I thought, it's really not looking too good so far. That's Hayden's board. Oh, just loads of random stuff everywhere. That's just next to the board. Yeah, <laughs> decent. Right, so Merson is doing his first bit of testing today. Merson, down to you. I want you to do a ZE, please. External earth fault loop impedance. There is a slight limitation to this. Obviously, everyone is working. Normally, I would bosh the main switch off, take the earth out, because obviously, we want it all external, but it's running through all of these isolators and stuff anyway. We can't turn off because they are working, so we're going to do a ZS at the board. Keep the earth connected in and we'll just make a note on our test certificate after that. So, Merson, please, will you do a ZE for me? I don't know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you, all right. <laughs> earth Pro. Okay. Put that on the earth, that's your main earth. And then your little prong, because it's going to be live, so you use the longer prong. You go from, you do it, take a test from L1, L2 and L3. Okay. Just because they will be, then you take the highest one. So yeah, it turns out to a two lead. You don't really want it low though, we want it high. 
and then you just literally touch on the buzz bar. Zero point thirty on that one. You do L two and L three. L two. Three one, so that'll be the one we take so far, and then that's it on L3. Zero point three four, so that's the reading we'll take. Just had to go out and get the ladders, so I'm absolutely soaked. But lucky boy, I brought Mersin in the toilet. <laughs> <really. laughs> right, ZD, please. Not ZD, sorry. I'm chatting about ZS. So again, using the blue prong, but it's only so we have to carry two around that is in the earth. So live and neutral, please, Merson. You put them, um, see those holes there? Yeah. You can put them in, no, not them ones, these. That's it. No, one in the middle, you're going between neutral. That's it. What's it saying? You making a bad connection. It will take the test read automatically. Oh, that's my favourite number, Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> so I just tested the end to ends again on an apparent ring circuit. On the lines, we got 0 0.36. On the neutrals, what do we get? 245? 270 something ohms, so a definite issue here. One thing though, all these flashes in the background making me shit my pants every time I touch this board. The matey boy that's working there, I don't know whether he's doing it on purpose, but as soon as my hands go near this board, the big bang and flash. Didn't even bring any spare pants today. <laughs> what a wally. <laughs> That was perfect timing as well. No, Just no. started filming. Oh. <laughs> the RV. Merson testing. Take two. <laughs> he set the tester up all by himself. Let's see if he's got it right. What terminal is you going between? Live now. Good boy. You have to hold it on there. It'll take a little while for the reading to come up. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? What do you mean, what we're doing? What, where's the test? What's my test reading saying? It's not come up with anything. Oh, for God's sake. You've got the extra length on the prongage. Same clock. Yeah, one thing, one thing I will say yeah. is you are going from the permanent live. You want to be taking it from the switch live and earth because it's slightly longer. Hold that on there till that comes up. Fourth time lucky. Show me a yeah. reading. Sus there, look at that. What we got? What we say? Nothing yet. <laughs> Zero point eight five. Good reading. What do we get? What's our maximum ZS? Allowed. Do you know what question you need to ask? What size is the breaker? What type is the breaker? Uh, okay, so if it's like a 6 amp breaker? Uh, I mean it's like 7.4 something off the top of my head, I'll have to check with it. I might be wrong. So we found something interesting here. Three phase transformer circuit. C32 for a start. 
It's only on a 2.5 cable. But look, don't need an earth. Looks like it used to have an earth, but completely burnt away. So turn that breaker off and I'm gonna pull all of these out so that can't be used either. I'm gonna condemn that circuit because that's no good. Big metal three-phase transformer that's got no earth to it whatsoever. So, sorry guys, that one's a no-no. Mersin, do you agree? It's a no-no from me, mate. There's a no-no from you. <laughs> it's a no-no from Mersin, you've heard it here first. It's condemned. I just wanted to make a quick note of this. Obviously, this is a steel fabricator's this is the spray room. Well, they obviously spray all their stuff. But look at that. I mean, that's shit. But that's literally covered. All this stuff's covered. So you walk along here. Look at that. Is this? They've gone for the IP rated sockets, which is good. But man, it, even this. Put that in there. Mm. What I'm probably going to do is because of the area that this is, that. The main armoured up there actually comes through that wall. What I'm going to, I mean that's battered as well. I'm going to suggest that they upgrade the board, take the supplier back through to the other side of the wall where so it's not in the paint area. We'll put an IP rated adaptable box up there in that space, extend the cables through, extend everything through the wall and then have it, that's the, oh, that's the supply that goes through and then mount it here and we can have it all in this side it's a bit cleaner also we pick that up very very naughty uh, I'm not sure whether I can get hold of a cover for that again now it's quite an old board but if not I mean that's broke as well I'll probably just put a note on the fuse board We'll upgrade this one as well. It's got to be the best option for them, really. They're going to have to start upgrading some of this stuff. All right, so just opened up the cover in this paint room one. And you can tell that... I thought with this door shut, it might give it a little bit of protection on the inside, but no. It's obviously been open, left open, or it's getting in there anyway through a little air gap. I don't know, but I'm going to take the cover off it now and we'll see if any of it's actually getting inside the board. So it hasn't actually come inside the board, it's fairly clean. Young Hayden, as you've noticed, there's a little hole at the top of the board, which is not good as they have got some leaks through the roof in here as well. As you can see, all wet on the floor down there, all wet down here. So we're going to have to get a closed grommet in that one. There's also another gland there that's not being used anymore. Let's get the testing started in this one, boys. I like this one. Yeah, I know, I've already shown them that. Holding the side of that. Holding the side of that one. I don't mean this ball's down with fucking open L shards, I don't know what you think. <laughs> Hayden's got a boo boo on his body. <laughs> Did you not tell your fella to not whip you so hard? <laughs> I do love it when Hayden gets his legs out. Because one, it reminds me of a golf putter. And two, it reminds me to feed the budget when I go home. So I can't actually, even though this one's smashed up, I will be able to get a test right at the top, but this actually has no screws in it now, but this don't turn all the way, so it's locking in. <laughs> I'm even bothering. So we've made our way over to their other workshop now. We've got two fuse boards in here to test. I've sent Merson to go and change a pull cord. Give him a bit of responsibility. No screws in that cover. Uh, trunking missing, the lid missing. 
Again, this is still a little bit rough. But we shall keep you posted on what we find. Now, I ain't one of these sparks that, you know, gets... I mean, don't get it wrong, we're anal about stuff and we want stuff done right. But we know what old installations are like and before the new regs come in and stuff, you know, depending on when it was installed, I, I'm not the type to say, right, that's all got to come out, that's got to be rewired, this, that, and the other. But things like that, I mean, just to make that better, what we could do is we'll fire rate, get some fire rated sealant in there, maybe put a clip up there just to stop it being pulled. And then in this room, you know. It's just a little bit rough. I mean, it is fixed with screws. It's not just stuck, but, and in all fairness, is this an escape route? No, it's not. It's a cupboard. So, but that, however, is naughty. And we will have to look into, because that's blatantly just some crimps with a bit of tape around it. So that'll have to go on the obs observation sheet. I like tape. <laughs> just connect two bits together, <laughs> symbols. Stay at that. Also found they got the lights, I don't know if you can see that, lights up on the plug sockets up there. Unusual. Right, so we've just found another cupboard. I swear to God, just walked in, and that is how we found the board. That's the cover on the deck. No screws in it. No screws to be found, so it's just been left like that. Look at that. It's a great bit of armoured gland in there. Shine your torch on that, Yeah. Check that for an armoured gland. Check the three phase brake at the bottom. Three phase brake at the bottom. Right, what one, right. <laughs> so we've got a C32 and we've got four cables coming out of the middle one. Three cables coming out of L1 and two cables coming out of L2. Holy shit balls. Security alarm, has got no cover on it. Don't know how that's not setting the tamper off. Mate. Oh. I'm losing the will to live. Should we go home? I'm gone mate. DB2. Oh look, they've even labelled up the blanks. <laughs> so that blank does the light in the shop. There's no fucking shop here. All right, back to this unit now. Pretty much got the testing wrapped up. And what I am going to say is that fuse board there, uh, 90. That fuse board there, I'm going to upgrade. We've got this isolator with the armoured that comes in right away above the ceiling from the other workshop that we tested over there. That comes into that isolator. That actually isolates both boards, which is a no-no anyway, so they should really be having its own independent isolator in, but we're going to test this board next. Did you get the ZS from that one? Yeah. Sweet. Right, so we just finished testing over here for today. Me and Hayden have both got to shoot off now. We've got another couple of jobs to go and do. Um, but Hayden, what is your verdict of the testing carried out so far? Fuck. Fuck. I agree, I second that. It's totally fucked. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll do a video when I actually type the certs up and, and list out all the observations I've found. But some of it is literally, it's bad, real bad. Catch you next time.